All right, buddy, I know I told you I'd send you a video of both, so making you a video while I got both of them out. So that's the bullseye over there. I'll go ahead and start with that one since we got it on. I just started it up. Um, but it's got a nice cooking space here. I mean, that's pretty big. You could fit about three racks of ribs on there. I'm firing it up to uh, smoke a steak and salmon right now. So um, this obviously don't come with it. It's just something I have. I like to measure my temps. Um, this is the controller down here. As you can see, I have it set on 225. It's currently reading 70 degrees. This is the pellet hopper itself. It's got a little lock thing on here keep water out and stuff like that you got your pellets i think it's a 15 pound hopper so it fits about 15 pounds of pellets so if you're cooking at 225 that's about 15 hours of smoking right there um so let's go over to this boy here so this is the 700 this is the bowl um it doesn't come with this shelf that you see right here this thing right here it'll come with this you have to buy it um normally it comes and you got you know the bowl ring down there looks nice you got a shelf but the front shelf's nice because you can fold it up and down you come down here put your stuff down here um comes with another pid controller like the other one so it's got precision temperature control this one actually has wi-fi so you can connect it to your phone see the temperature on your phone as well you can start the grill from your phone you can change the temp from your phone it's pretty cool um pretty easy to use it's all stainless steel um comes with these little hooks here so this one comes with a 40 pound hopper so that's what this thing is on the back you could fit 40 pounds of pellets on here so at 225 you know you're smoking that's 40 hours of cooking right there i mean i don't i don't know what so i barely fill that up but uh yeah let's open this bad boy up almost forgot to show you i mean i rarely use this mostly to pull it around and stuff but this is a drip bucket it doesn't come with the foil obviously um i just put it in there for easier cleanup but that's where all the drippings drip down into so here i have foil on it on my drip pan um, normally i don't put foil on it i just scrape it um, just to make it easier on my life but sometimes if i'm doing like a barbecue glaze like sometimes i like to do that on my chicken um I'll put some foil down on there prior to, just so that way cleanup's easier. I can just crumble that up, throw it away before the next cook. Um, but this is a huge cooking space. Um, I've actually been able to put six racks of ribs on this long ways um, and still had some room on there, a little bit of room. Um, you could do them, you know, this way as well, whatever way you wanna do it. But uh, the cooking space is huge on this. It does have a light. Mine's pretty dark. Um, I haven't cleaned it. I, you know, I rarely use it. Um, but yeah, man, the thing's a beast. I haven't cleaned it since I've gotten it, so it's dirty, but who cares? But yeah, man, you're looking at $1,200 smoker right there versus, you know, right now $399 shipped to your door. Um, but this one's a beast as well. So if I was starting out, you know, in the smoking world, I would probably start with this guy here, honestly. Um, even though I started with technically the big boy, but I smoke a lot of foods for like my family and I So I needed something big, but now that I've gotten this man Propane grill gave it away to my buddy. Don't even need it um, This thing here um, So you, it goes basically goes has a low setting which will basically maintain around 200 degrees or so um, And then it goes in 25 degree increments um, it's got a riot mode, so it'll go all the way up to 500 degrees, and then it'll go with the riot mode. Riot mode will get it all the way up to 750 degrees. Um, some people have recorded it as high as 800 something degrees. Um, so at that point, you know, you can you can cook on this thing with that lid wide open, not have any problems at that point. But perfect for searing. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna be smoking that steak to about 100 degrees internal temp. Then I'm gonna turn that sucker up to riot mode and sear it. So that'll be nice, nice crust on the outside. This thing here, um, it's got a low setting. The low setting is the extreme smoke setting. Um, so that's about 180 degrees. Um, I've done that for a couple things like Cheez-Its, box of Cheez-Its. 
It's one of my favorite things to do on extreme smoke, get a real heavy smoke on some Cheez-Its. Um, it's also, it'll go all the way up to uh, 500 degrees. It's got a high mode as well. Um, it's not a riot mode, it's just a high mode. I think it'll go up to 500 degrees, I believe, and then it goes to the high mode. Or maybe it's 450, I can't remember, but the, the max I've seen this thing puppy go is about 550 degrees. So that's perfect for searing stuff as well. Garage light just went off. Um, but yeah, they got they got sear kits for these things, man. So if you want to get like a real good sear on it as well, if you don't like the, the sear that these things produce, you can get like a sear kit they have that goes on like the right side here. And those sear kits, normally they get about 100 to 150 degrees hotter than the actual grill. So you get some nice good sear marks on them as well. So they make them for all their grills. Um, so yeah, man, if you got any questions, man, just let me know. Or if you want more videos or pictures or some shit. Yeah, looks like I'm finally getting some smoke out of here. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, man.